Nanalu Ha'i o Ma'ili is my first Hawaiian composition that made it on a recording. Um, at that time, I didn't know too much about Hawaiian language and poetry, but I made an attempt at writing it, presented it to Jay Kauka, it went to um, another person, Kalani Akana, and uh, finally it went to Haila Mufardin. Eric said, oh, I need help. He gave me words to a song um, loosely called Ma'ili at that time. Jay and I went to Haila Mufardin and said, hey, Eric's got great music for this song, but really needs help on the words. Jay told me, go ahead and just do it because we we're need we going to record this song. And what he did is um, he took the mana'o and he rewrote it using a bunch of Hawaiian proverbs, olelo no el. I took the olelo no el and I looked for different ones having to do with surfing. Um, and we it was beautiful that we're capturing a song from Ma'ili because there's not much written about Ma'ili. And so this is a way that Eric can talk about his true home place, Ma'ili. It's a song that I wanted to write and dedicated it to my two older brothers because, you know, they were the beach boys of Waianae. You know, always at the beach surfing the waves. Nanalu ha'i o ma'ili. And it speaks of the word ha'i, is, there's play in that. Ha'i means to break as the waves break. And it talks about the breaking waves in ma'ili. But it, it, it is a love song. I composed the words so that there there is connotation of love, love making. And you compare your loved one to the surfboard. And there's an old, uh, older Olelo no Eo that says, um, E kupolo le makanuku e, E kupolo le makanuku, Mai he oe a havava. And then, you know, stand on on the, the nose of your board. Don't surf any kind. What it means is, take care of your surfboard, take care of your lover. Because if you are riding the surfboard haphazardly, it will break. In the recording, uh, Jay had this idea of bringing in Peter Moon to to play alongside with me on this song. So I would take a solo, he would take a solo, I would take a solo, we, he would take a solo, and then we jammed together on the last solo. Peter Moon came in and he did um, instrumental, um, let's say, uh, accompaniment to Nanaluha Ili. So when you hear it, the first one is doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, and, and it's, I'm going to tell you something, it was an honor. And Eric was able to pull that off to know that um, Peter Moon is on this. Having one of my guitar idols in Hawaiian music playing with me on my first Hawaiian composition, on my first debut CD, uh, really cool experience, yeah. This is Ma'ili Beach and named after the Ilili stones here found on the sand and uh, this was our playground growing up and we're very blessed to actually live close by within walking distance and this particular beach or well, part of the beach that we're at right now is we call it Tumbo Land today but my dad said when he was growing up, they called this Slippery Rocks. And it was because of this reef here that there's this slippery moss that grows over the reef. And it only happens during the summer times. During the winter time, the current shift and it draws the sand over the reef. So it's non-existent during the winter time. But during the summer, this is what we see today. I don't know, we try to come back at least once a summer, pitch us out swell. And we meet a little bit more often than that. <laughs> but Earl, he still lives here, so he can come every day. If the surf is good. Today it's kind of small, pretty small, but there's still something out there. But as you can see, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, I came to love it because my, my sons grew up here, except Derek. Eric was the more of the 
sand person. Those two boys in the water, they were the uh, water buffaloes of the family, Edward and Earl. 